Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to Sonobello.com. Covering big local news with unique views only from Local Sky 3. Look who was on the show with us this morning, Dr. Tiffany Allberg with Allberg Audiology. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Julie. So we're going to get kind of a vocabulary lesson this morning. So lucky for me, I have pen and paper, right? Okay. Because <laughs> uh, you are an audiologist, yes. as the name implies, Allberg Audiology, which means that you have kind of a different level of training than, say, a hearing aid specialist. Is that right? Yes. So you're going to kind of give us the 101. Sure. So an audiologist is someone who is trained to do hearing hearing and balance testing and treatment for those things, um, disorders. So um, we go to school, we have a formal education, it involves an undergraduate degree of four years and then a graduate degree which is a doctorate level, a clinical doctorate in audiology which is another four years. So there's eight years of training. Um, there are, sometimes people are confused because there's other people who um, dispense hearing aids mm -hmm. and so they just think the audiologist or anyone who dispenses hearing aids, but there are also hearing instrument specialists and they do hearing testing for the purpose of dispensing hearing aids. They um, have, it's more of an apprenticeship, mm -hmm. so uh, most of the time they will um, study under another hearing instrument specialist for like six months or so, mm -hmm. and then as long as they pass a clinical test, mm -hmm. then they are um, licensed to dispense hearing aids. Okay, so let me ask you this. You mentioned the word balance a minute to go. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that like hearing balance your ears are hearing this the same level if you will or does that mean an inner balance? So um, we uh, audiologists are trained to do hearing testing and balance testing okay. which um, there are so the the inner ear houses your cochlea mm -hmm. and then your semicircular canals so all of that is related to our hearing and balance but balance specifically um, there are certain tests that we can do to uh, diagnose whether the the balance disorder is vestibular which would be from the inner ear mm -hmm. sometimes there's some p positional forms of that mm -hmm. um, that we actually that's the only kind of balance that we treat in our office mm -hmm. um, it's one of the most common it's benign proximal positional vertigo but it is a um, it's where the crystals in the inner ear come loose and we're able to kind of get those back into place so that um, that that nystagmus which is a involuntary movement of the eye so that once we put those crystals back into place people feel better but there's so many types of balance and so there's special tests I do not do all of the testing in my office there are other audiologists that do um, and they are there to diagnose where the what part of the system is causing the the balance problems? Okay, so I mean, if you are watching this morning and you're maybe beginning a journey with some hearing concerns, it's it is hard to mm -hmm. know where do you start. Mm -hmm. um, if they start with you, then you've got the knowledge in place to help them at your level, or yeah. refer them on to somebody yeah, else. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of what we do, especially if it is balance disorders, is we refer and um, or certain ear you know disorders. So we're able obviously to treat with hearing aids if it's a sensory no hearing loss, and then other types of hearing loss if if there is not a medical or surgical treatment mm -hmm. for that particular hearing loss, like if it's the middle ear or something right. like that. Um, but we're able to send those people to either an ENT, which is an ear, nose, and throat doctor, also known as an otolaryngologist, or to a otologist or neurootologist who is highly specialized in treating um, disorders of the ear um, and how the ear, inner ear and the nervous system. Okay, so let's say that it's an ENT issue. Mm -hmm. You refer out to an ENT. Does that imply that it's more of an anatomical issue that's connecting maybe within your ear canal and your nose and your throat? So an example of when we would send somebody to an ear, nose, and throat doctor would be they have fluid in the ear that is, um, that's been there for a long time, or they have an asymmetrical hearing loss, so their hearing is very different in both ears. Or the rapid sudden hearing or loss. Or sudden hearing loss. So anything that is outside of just normal hearing loss, mm -hmm. we refer out to uh, to an ENT just for medical evaluation. You've known me long enough to know I'm kind of an analogous person, but so you're like the primary care doctor who can then refer you to the specialist if something flares up. Yes. Is that kind of right? Yeah, I mean, we're a clinical doctorate, not a medical doctorate. Mm -hmm. So um, we, uh, but yes, we are able to be that entry point to do the hearing testing and then 
figure out like do you need another referral or is it a sensory no hearing loss that can be treated with hearing devices. So you just took me back to the other point I was mm -hmm. gonna ask you earlier. You mentioned your training and the clinical hours that you put in. The, um, so that's because that's kind of hands-on in observation learning, is that right? As opposed, well, it's what all, do you mean by clinical? So we're not a medical doctor. So we don't go to medical school. It's a clinical doctorate. So it's more like a pharmacist. Okay. Um, that kind of uh, doctorate. Okay. So, um, it, but it is, it's formal education. So all of it's university training. Gotcha. So it is, um, but it is seven years in the classroom. And then there's a one year externship that we do. So, I mean, you, I think we're thinking that we would just touch this morning on uh, the hearing instrument specialist, you as an audiologist, the ENT, and then the others that I can't even pronounce. <laughs> and yet you got into all this other terminology. It's a lot to take in, isn't it, Tiffany, when people come to you? It is, and I think people just a lot of times don't know where to start. So, I mean, we're happy to be that entry level. You know, like if people want to come in for the hearing test and then we can help them to understand what's going on mm -hmm. and then we can refer out if we Because need to. the best case scenario is that it will be, quote, a simple fix, if you will, when somebody comes to you, but you can't always know that, so you need that background and that training and that knowledge that you bring to it to make sure they're getting the proper care. Yes. So here's where you'll find them. Two offices now? Two offices. In Cleveland, Alberg Audiology on North Ocoee Street, and then their newest one up in Athens on Congress Parkway. They do have two different numbers that you see there on your screen. One website, albergaudiology.com. Thank you. Thank you. At Chattanooga Allergy Clinic, we see firsthand how allergies and asthma can impact your quality of life. That's why caring for our patients is the most important part of what we do. Year after year, our community has named us the best allergy and asthma clinic in your area. If you or a loved one is experiencing allergy and asthma symptoms, our team of board-certified doctors